don't know, man. This program is intended for a mature audience. If you're not 18 or older, stop listening and find more of Parent Appropriate content. Where are the batteries? This show will cover serious topics in a satirical manner. If you're offended by any content here, that is your own problem. You've been warned. Don't try this at home. Anywhere else for that matter. God. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, de la beloved and sanctimoniously enslaved assholes that don't wear collars even though they should. Yes, if you're a slave, what, you should what, have a what collar. Kind, what kind of collar? Good question. I, I, I work a blue collar job now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Now, in your case, you should have one of those wolf collars that have spikes on the outside. Yeah, I don't think people could handle that. Mm-hmm. I can think of a few people that would. At least one. She hangs out. Yeah. Of- yeah. I, I got a couple stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to that late night culinary excursion that is Midnight Sushi. Oh. Oh, thank you for doing it the, the, the professional way now. Sushi! <laughs> I'm having coffee. <laughs> Yet. No, I am. Oh, yeah, you are having coffee. I need more. I, that phlegm just caught in my throat. Sorry about that. Well, you're the coffee king. Go make it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> exactly. Today's episode is brought to you in part by our fantastic friends at Resurrection Vapor at ResurrectionVapor.com. Lines upon lines of the utterly most fantastic juices to ever satiate your palate. For Christ's sakes, throw a dart. You'll find something you might like. As well as, you know, <laughs> we have that lovely diesel line and certain... Nope. They don't have diesel at Vape Walkie. I said resurrection. You said diesel. And you said resurrection di- has resurrection, diesel. Yeah, resurrection has diesel. Vape Walkie has. And I'm doing the resurrection. Oh, promo. okay. Because I wanted to give a quick shout out to Colin. From, Congratulations from Paul, from Prohibition. Okay. They got they're they're in Vape Walkie now. Congrats! So we got a local guy. Cool. Hey. 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 <laughs> Resurrection, sorry. Yeah, resurrection, Purchase. and uh, yeah, just for that, fuck hammer down. <laughs> I need go to resurrectionvapor dot com to get that shit in your house, in your stores for Jesus H Christ. Mm. Also brought to you in part by Vape Walkie. Fuck it, you can do this one. I thought we did Vape Walkie already. No, okay. I just did resurrection. I was too excited. I'm sorry. I know what happens when you get too excited. The <laughs> table goes up a quarter inch. Yeah, only a quarter inch. It's more like an eighth. Uh, all cold. right. Vape walkie. Lines upon lines adorn their walls high and low end. Everything in between and a clearance section just to make you scream a little bit. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Go tell me I'm right. Well, yeah, you get to scream a little, especially while I'm choking you. Yeah, well, that too. And then there's Gary the Lawn Elf. Gnome. Gnome. Elf. Gnome. Gnome. He shaves. Yeah. He shaves now. It's more of an elf. He's yeah, more... but, but he always keeps a little stubble on there. Elves don't get stubble. Yeah, this is true. And he's got the Burt Reynolds chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that then. <laughs> Check him out online, Facebook, Instagram, and even the Snapchat. Holy crap. Uh, they are doing a lot of good things at Vape Walkie. Uh, they have a .com as well, so check them out. And also you can catch damn near every one of our juice sponsors in their stores. Even the aforementioned Resurrection line. I'm sorry for screwing up that promo. I'm not apologizing to you. I'm apologizing to the fucking Jeff. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Hasley. I'll get even for you. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> coffee. coffee. Coffee break. Oh, that's good coffee. <coughs> yeah. Who are these fuckers? Uh, these fuckers are upstairs. Oops, forgot to bring them down to the studio. It's called Biohazard Coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't really done much research on these guys, except for the fact that 12 ounces is about 930 grams of caffeine, milligrams of caffeine. And gave it a test run at work. 
the coworkers are like, ooh, this is good shit. And then all of a sudden they got more productive and they couldn't figure out why. This is what happens when you don't tell them it's that much caffeine in a cup. <laughs> You're talking to the guy who's used to either running on absolutely every ounce of energy or none at all. Yeah, sadly. Within the same hour. Within the, yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah, no. She's that limber. Yep, that too. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, so that's kind of what sort of brings us here. They were just having a brief coffee break. Haven't done a midnight sushi in a long fucking time. We've been busy. A bit. You've been Quite busy. Well, I cook for a living. You cook for a living. You get kicked out of places for a living, it seems like. Yeah. And it also seems like life just finds a way. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Jeff Goldblum reference, folks. Google it. Fuck off. (laughs) Finds a way. Life finds a way. (laughs) Yeah. Utterly strange as bullshit about that, especially when they're like, oh, no, you've done these things. It's like, um, How? I wasn't even in the same zip code. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the world world of podcasting as well. Mm-hmm. We've we've done things that we didn't know we were responsible for, but we influenced heavily. Well, that's one thing when you influence an action. It's another <laughs> thing when you're actually accused of doing the action. Guilty by association in that case. Sometimes, I mean, look at look at the look at, look at some of the things that have happened. <laughs> True. That we would by federal laws we are not going to talk about because I don't need a lawsuit again. <laughs> Statue limitations isn't up yet. Yeah, big time. Holy thank God, because let's just say, folks, if we suggest doing something, it's in the satire and satirically uh suggested. We don't recommend doing some of the things we say as per the um opening warning opening at the beginning of the warning. show. <laughs> Not that difficult, folks. Kind of another reason why we haven't been quite regular on our schedules. <laughs> well, that's why we're having coffee. It fixes that regularity. Yeah! Boy, does it ever. Shave, really? shit, shower, and shine. No, add coffee to that mix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that gets everything going faster. Mm-hmm. You will go faster, or you will multitask. Or you will shit. <laughs> no, you'll just shave and shine while you're shitting. This is very true. And then shower. And cry in the shower because you've now done things. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> what, you've never accidentally wiped with the kiwi brush? No, I've I've the only thing I've ever accidentally wiped with was a baby wipe. Mm. And usually that's for afterwards. The baby wipes are a per- post game, not a pre game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I'm very meticulous when it comes to my duties. <laughs> Worst one for me was a pine cone. You've had you okay? Okay, okay. I'm guessing out in the woods and sh- yeah. stuff. I'm not gonna say shit, mm-hmm. <sighs> Captain Wholesome. <laughs> you gotta love it when Captain Wholesome pops in the rooms. I know he doesn't pop in often enough. No, he doesn't. Copy link. Throw it there so people know what we're talking about. Boom! Yay! Forty million wasn't enough. He says. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. We don't know that. But with this with this coffee though, I am I am definitely the beans for this coffee were a very light colored bean mm-hmm. which kinda threw me off a bit. It would throw me off just that usually a light color means a very gentle roasting. Yeah. You know, it's not like it was you thrown okay in there. A- <laughs> you just did a Rick and Morty. You know I'm worried about <laughs> coffee. It's been a rough morning. Yes. So, anyways. Yeah, we're talking about the coffee beans of this biohazard coffee. Yeah, usually, you know, the dark of the rose generally means it was thrown into the furnaces of hell. uh, Which is the way we like it. mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Or thrown within the same zip code as my ex-wife. Yeah. Or brewed by your wife, -wife. ex-wife. Whatever you want to call it. No, that's only because she uh, filled up a quarter of that French press with, like, the darkest folders she could find. Yeah, that was some high torque shit. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine. Yeah, you drink that Here on the toilet. I got the info: nine hundred and twenty-eight milligrams in one cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not the most heavily caffeinated, but damn if it isn't 
really good. Well, yeah, since we've had Death Wish before. Yes, this is true. Um, it boasts an insane amount of caffeine per cup achieved through totally natural processes. A single origin bean came up packed with an incredibly palatable. That's what surprised me. Usually, when they're when they're saying, "Hey, this is going to be mm-hmm. uh, a, a strong kick coffee," it's going to be bitter. Yeah, like extremely bitter. Like cut it with a pinch of salt, bitter. Mm-hmm. But I don't get. I mean, yeah, okay, it's straight black coffee, so there is a little bitter, but it's not. It's like regular regular cup. Yeah. Regular restaurant cup coffee. Mm-hmm. So I would hazard a guess that they just bred the strain of the coffee beans to be highly concentrated in caffeine. Nope. Biohazard is made with Robusta beans. Hmm. Which everyone, you know what the you know what the phrasing is. Dead silence here for Robusta beans. Mm-hmm. A moment of silence for that. But no, Robusta beans are. You know what that means, right? Not offhand. Okay, let's Google. Let's Google that because I really don't want to fuck this one up. Because with the not road robusta r u b s t a robusta coffee. Here we go. It's coffee made from the coffee plant, of course. It's a sturdy species of coffee bean with low acidity and high bitterness. That's what surprises me, because there's hardly any bitterness in this. Uh, it must be the uh, turbo gentle roasting that they did with this. Yes, uh, their their origins are usually in the Saharan Africa, uh, mm-hmm. Western Sub-Saharan Africa, to be more precise. Uh, it's been known to have more caffeine, uh, almost double or triple the amount of caffeine, as well as twice the ox- antioxidants. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's less susceptible to the coffee diseases that you know plague Arabica. Mm-hmm. As well as, uh, it's about forty percent of the global coffee population. That's not bad. No, and they're t- saying somewhere like forty uh, percent of it is in the world, mostly grown in Vietnam, where the French Indonesians mm-hmm. colonized, colonized uh, Africa and Brazil. Hmm. Vietnam is actually the one that's producing the most. Brazil is. West Sub-Saharan Africa, you know, the mm-hmm. West Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, Indonesia, India, Uganda. There's that West, mm-hmm. but Brazil is actually still the biggest coffee producer in the world. I'm, I don't know why, but it, and it's easier. Robusta is easier to care for. Well, I can kind of figure out why. I mean, what else are you gonna do after getting waxed? You know, gotta walk around. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are talking about coffee and Brazilians and Brazilians. And getting a Brazilian. Mm. I still want to get one. I'll be honest. I would just for the sake of trying it. Yeah. I don't want to die knowing what it's not like and Mm. having the offer there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to put put Captain Wholesome right next to me and have him do it. It's a tandem. Isn't it? Or wasn't it supposed to be me, you, and Gremlin? Yes. But I'm I'm thinking Captain Wholesome would probably... Be willing to take one for the Proud Boys team. <laughs> <laughs> you damn well better. Yep. <laughs> Hell, we could get Capty in on it, too. Haven't seen that prospect in a year and a half. Yeah, we're actually dropping prospects like flies. That's the part that sucks. Eh. One in our chat. That's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. Hey. I mean, everybody has personal lives. Everybody has things they need to go do, you know? And, you know, some people kind of create their own history within us and create their own bullshit. This is a very true statement. Or they or they drop off the face of the earth, like the uh, couple of the prospects we had. Like the two from Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jake and whatever the hell her name was. Jake and the Gabby and yeah. then uh, James. Yep. Yeah. They, all right. Shit happens. People yeah. have busy lives. Yeah. And then they break rule one. Yeah, this is a very true statement. <laughs> Cat Molson signing up for the Brazilian. <laughs> Brazilian. Nice. It's gonna be a fun day. It is. <laughs> as soon as we get as soon as we get it all in place, we will. Phrasing. My coach is forming dreadlocks. <laughs> 
you gotta love it. I just set the wholesome team on fire. <laughs> well, you know, his gooch may be forming dreadlocks, but mine kind of looks like an elderly Rastafarian. I was gonna say right there, bud. <laughs> Me, I just, I, I, I get the, I get the, I, I don't have a really good analogy or, or, or lively. Well, in all fairness, I shave it. Okay, folks. <laughs> during the warmer months, like I believe, starting in. Yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> especially since this weekend it's supposed to hit seventy. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna be fucking loving life in a minute. Yeah, riding the bike to work. Woohoo! Save on gas. Let's hope. <laughs> it's a fucking motorcycle. You you're gonna tell me you don't get like it's an 1800 cc motorcycle. Okay, let's so, put it, the, let's put it, so your gas line is a beer bong. Got yes, it. yes, yes. And it's it, bad habits, so yes. it might as well be a beer bong. <laughs> yeah, a trip, a trip to and from work is going to cost me a fucking tank on the motorcycle, which ain't bad. No, it just I just have to keep refueling it. That's going to be the problem. Oh lord, you have to stop for fifteen minutes and fuel up. Yeah, that's fifteen minutes. I'm not fucking getting wind therapy. <laughs> So you get hit on by yet another gas station clerk. Uh, yeah, okay. Are, are you really complaining? Yes. I'm getting... I'm. My tastes are improving. Really? Yes. Or uh-huh. advancing or whatever you want to call it. Maturing? Yeah. If you work in, like, service industry, I'm less likely to go, oh, you're hot. <laughs> mm. Unless you're a bartender. Yeah, good point. <laughs> And now I'm getting. I'm going to be probably eaten alive in the fucking Discord chat. Hey, it's not the fifth time. Yeah, this is true. This is a really, really fun coffee. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's enjoyable. I don't feel that like instant jittery hit. Yeah. Like you would with. I mean, shit. Even like a Folgers extra dark roast or a double. Uh, what do you? What did we do with that? Uh, a double espresso death wish. Yeah. The one where you take that first sip and two minutes later you're like, whoa! Yeah, whoa, because you just grew a tail and you got to run to the bathroom. Yeah! <laughs> Everything's awake! <laughs> Everything <laughs> is awake. Everything <laughs> is awake. <sighs> <laughs> Pooping with a boner joke, folks. <laughs> hey, plumpkins are a thing. No, they're not. <laughs> Something I would recommend every day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe every other day. Yeah. So, also got to wish you a happy belated birthday. Uh, Thank you. I, I, and also a uh, public apology for not being able to make it out to your little soiree. Eh, it was a thing. You went to Dragonberg's. Yeah, I know. It was a thing. I know. <laughs> and not a single fucking person showed up. I'm sorry about that. I did. I had to work. That was my fucking issue, and I could not get off out of working. You also couldn't swing by on the way home? Tried. Okay. Tried. Something came up that I'm really not allowed to talk about, period. Fair. All right. Daddy issues dark roast. What? Wha- okay, I'm Googling that. <laughs> Daddy issues, issues dark, dark roast. roast. I mean, is that a legit thing? Because that would be fantastic. <laughs> That's like dark roast with pumpkin spice. It's dark roast with a... <laughs> uh, the basic coffee line. The basic bitch coffee. Dark. Basic bitch coffee line. BBC. Dad, daddy issues. Basic <laughs> bitch coffee. BBC. The fucking first one we just call white girl. It's a dark roast with pumpkin spice. And then all of a sudden that picture of the little tiny white girl on the couch just formulates in my mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Wrong answers only. <laughs> well, the unfortunate thing is, it's usually all right answers too. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, especially. What are these? Freedom enhancers. <laughs> Infidel suppositories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love it. Freedom seeds. Freedom <laughs> seeds. Yes, I love those. There's a. There's a. I, I'm. I'm going to write that daddy issue with dark roast down. <laughs> New from the Bad Habits Coffee. Line. I like it. It's fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Now, <laughs> well, you're alive now. Yes. Now, <laughs> Didi Mao. Didi Mao. Didi Mao. Okay, here we go. BBC Coffee, new flavor. It's called Ferrat of the Month. 
<laughs> the Farad of the Month Club. <laughs> it's the subscription based program. I need to stop laughing at my own jokes. No. No. <laughs> no. Just no. No, I'm not that funny. I need to quit laughing at my own joke because that's. I need to improve and let other people laugh on that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, first of the month. Yeah, well, Capki. As long. Oh, I, I don't know. Could we? If 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 there's like a a gaping hole of blackness, could we call it the child support? I don't know. Catholic. No. Catholic coffee. It's it's basic bitch coffee. No, no, no. You There'd said, have to you be said a f- gaping hole. So okay. It's like, yeah. Know. We would have to call one Uggs. Mm. And then uh, Han Solo boots. Uh, those are Uggs. Okay, yes. But, anyways, no, those could be like maybe a cinnamon, sugary flavored one, like a breakfast blend. Yeah. And then you got the one that tastes like a Wookiee's taint. We'll call it leggings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she takes them off. You hear a Wookiee call. Oh, dear God. We'll call it Winter's Blend. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hence why in the summer months, I uh, fucking do climate control, Ooh. folks. And speaking of climate control, I actually yes. got permission from the owner to wear kilts in the kitchen. The owner of the place where you're... Yeah. Oh, wow. The decaf is called Absentee Daddy. I like that. Thank you, Captain Awesome. Jesus Christ. These guys, I got these guys talking about I just about call it coffee. the ghetto. The ghetto. I just call it payment. <laughs> Payday. The first of the month club. <laughs> Jesus, I love it. Bad habits coffee, folks. <laughs> BBC. <laughs> Basic bitch coffee. coffee. <laughs> Quit laughing at your own joke, dumbass. It's not that funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is, Hammer. It, it's a compliment, not a dick. You can take this. I understand that. I, I've just been, I've been listening to another uh, podcaster. He he mm-hmm. used to be on Sirius XM, and he was one of my favorite shows to listen to. Stern? No. Um, Opie and Anthony. Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't really want to bring it up, but I, I've been I've been catching a lot of the full pause that the guy makes on his podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, I'm not going to do half of this shit. I, I need to not do half. Because listening to one of those episodes gives me the douche chills. <laughs> and that's that, that, that cold chill from the top, very tippy top of your asshole all mm-hmm. the way to the top of the back of your neck. Mm-hmm. Where it's just so awkward, it gives you a chill that long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't like his show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's popular enough. It's funny enough. No, but... it's not. It's yeah. it's one of the. It's one of the. Give it a listen. I, I dare you. I mean, the Opie and Anthony show. No, O and A is fine. Fantastic. You do this. You do uh, Opie's radio fucking podcast now. Yeah, sucks balls. Hmm. He breaks every fucking rule in broadcasting there is, and then he breaks on top of that every rule of comedy. Hmm. Fair. And it just, it, it's, it's, you can understand why he had Anthony Cumia and Jim Norton in his studio all the damn time. And you can figure out why they didn't really want to be a part of that anymore. Excuse me. Well, it's kind of like listening to one of my favorite podcasters lately. It's, they've, honestly, it's just kind of not, it's not that funny anymore. What is? Um, well. I mean, we're 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 not we're not gonna we're not gonna attack anyone here. We're just stating our opinions. Yeah, and this is truly an opinion. And don't get me wrong, it's still a good podcast. You know, everything kind of flows. It's a good story. Yeah. It's good news. You know, all that fun shit. He's got structure. Yeah, but lately, I mean, when I first started listening to Christopher Titus's podcast, I'd already been listening to his comedy specials relentlessly, and mm-hmm. I still do. I have them on my fucking Spotify list for a reason. Okay. Um, in point of fact, he was kind of one of the first people that helped me dig out of a really dark place in my head. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to go into that story anymore. But anyways, uh, you know, I started listening to his podcast once I stumbled onto them and they were fucking awesome. Yes. And, you know, it's, I drove all fucking day for work cause I was back when I was doing security mm-hmm. and then I got moved to a security, an actual post. 
So it's like I got to listen to that every fucking night. Right. You know, just chill at the desk, you know, listen to it between rounds, you know, that fun shit. And then work on another podcast in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Well. Full disclosure. Yep, no shit. <laughs> hey, I got weekends off back then. Yeah. That was fun. Well, then you did a lot of... A lot of uh shenanigans for us in mm-hmm. the beginning when it came to your du- double duty on your job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. That was fun. All right, we're going to get that one so, up there. Sorry. Anyways, guys. but yeah, lately it's I mean, it's cool, it's poignant, it's got a punch to it, but it's just not that funny anymore. Yep. Well, it's and like I'm a, sorry, Titus, my, I love you, but it's And in my opinion, a lot of the comics are going that route. They're mm-hmm. they're with their shows. It seems to be more of a manifesto than an entertainment platform, right? And that's kind of been the thing throughout history: is that comedians have always kind of been that social barometer of where everything is going. And now comedy is going down the tubes. Well, society is going down the tubes too. Not necessarily. I think we're doing a lot better than we were twelve years ago. Mm. I mean, the economy's up. Mm. The economy is going towards a downturn, too. It is. However, it's going to be a downturn that is going to be avoided. You're uh, assuming the Fed cuts tax rates? I must to save themselves? To save themselves, but I'm not. I'm saying it's not going to be like 2008 Fair. and 2009. We're not going to see a house market crash. If I'm wrong, I will happily eat that hat. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't control that shit. We can only just wait and see when it comes to that kind of shit. But, you know, it's... I miss getting back to the funny. Agreed. You know, I miss when it wasn't necessarily about who can make the most horrendous jokes or make a joke about someone that did something horrendous. I mean, granted, even us and comedians, we've always brought light to really fucking dark places, Oh, absolutely. But it's, there was always a point to actually be funny. Lately, it hasn't been Mm -hmm. for anybody. It's like everyone's kind of just dropped off the face of the earth. Including ourselves. Yeah. I'll admit that right now. I mean, shit, I was this close from being a stand-up again. Mm -hmm. Or going to do stand-up again. Life got in the way. I'm good. Insurance paying jobs get in the way. In in heavily paying insurance paying jobs get in the way. Mm-hmm. Let's. Stop. I'm going to be honest there. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, you know, when they create a whole new job title and offer you five k more than what you want, it's it, yeah, more than five k more. <laughs> right. And I miss funny. Oh, agreed. I I miss I miss laughing so hard your tummy hurts afterwards, or your sides, or you're crying, or. You know, stuff like that. And, you know, I miss that part of it in the community, too, because lately it's all, it's kind of turned into whoever is the biggest victim and everyone gets to surround them and hug them and all that fun shit. And it's like, so they almost create victims. Right. And it's like, granted... Why I'm no everything? angel myself, but... I'm thinking Discord might have some Facebook fucking rules there, Cap Molsom. I've seen what you've been posting. Oh? Yeah. Did he get banned again? No, he's not, getting, he's not getting banned from Discord. It's just things are coming up, and then they're getting taken right the fuck down. Yeah, pretty much. He's gotten... Or uh, Zuck has pretty much gotten really on his shit about taking shit down. Well, yeah, but it's also affecting, like, Discord and shit, like the hate speech mm-hmm. aspect of it. As well as the nudity, so I'm I'm seeing them come up, and I'm also seeing them get down. Yeah, which is weird because I thought Discord was open. It's like Zulu Foxtrot, where we have to police ourselves. Yeah, uh, pending hate speech and all that, because the Constitution does not protect against hate hate speech. Right. Well, and there is obviously a bit of allowability with that. I mean, no right, one should right. really kind of just do that shit you you always have the freedom to say what you want and do what you want you are not free from the consequences of that correct you know and that's something that a lot of people kind of get a little bass backwards mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like uh when i had to deal with the folks that were triggered by my dad's death <laughs> i like how you said that one 
Yeah. It's like, um, the fuck? It's like, oh, I'm triggered. No, you're not. I mean, granted, I, I have absolutely no say over your psychological well-being and all right. that fun shit. I can't judge the severity of how you feel about it, but it's like, it has nothing to do with you. It has not affected you in the least. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you're going to create bullshit for me. How the fuck does that work out? Yeah, I'm just that live and let live kind of shit. Exactly. You know, condolences, walk away. Yeah. Don't don't like it, don't watch. Exactly. It's, but lately, everyone's kind of surrounded the victims. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, yay, support victims. You know, the people who've honestly been through some shit. Be there for them. But don't be there for them in such a way that they're coddled. The world is not a nice place. Yeah. It is not a soft place. It is not a fluffy place. It was never meant to be, and it never will be. Right. Dennis Leary said it best. The world, life's hard. Get a fucking helmet, folks. No shit. You know, and Titus said it best on another one, too. It's like, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, it doesn't say just be happy. That's because happiness in and of itself isn't something that's just there it has to be something that is fought for that is pursued that is chased after that is earned Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know and as you pointed out leary kind of pointed it best you know it's a five second orgasm it's a cookie it's doing a random good deed in a day that makes you feel just a little bit of happy before you go back to the office where you're pounding your head on your desk but you know at the same time it's also a fantastic fucking cup of coffee sitting next to your brother yep with a really tiny ass cake sitting upstairs. Yep, in mem- commemoration of your birthday, <laughs> and that is just a cake for you. Thank you. No worries. I knew you like that German fancy shit, so I just went out and got you a little German fancy shit torte. <laughs> torte. No, no, you have the fancy German shit sitting on the <laughs> table, and it's also remote control for your television. Yeah, well, it's Chinese actually. I'm pretty sure it says "Made in China" on the bottom. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Either way, some German decided to make a pan ultimate TV shiza joke. Yes, yes, and I love it because that thing is it's literally a turd on wheels and the remote control sticks a plunger. Mm-hmm. So you can drive it around the house mm-hmm. and then hit a button and sneak up on people and make it fart. But now the greater question is how quiet is it? Oh, so I can't, like, actually sneak up on a You can't sneak up on a bitch, but if the TV's on, you can sneak up on a bitch. Fair. Yeah. You've done this? Maybe my daughter got me. (laughs) (laughs) Way to go, little hammer. Yeah, Lily Hammer. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Pretty much. That's going to be probably her fucking radio name, Lily Hammer. Mm -hmm. I hope. One can dream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we both know the kids are going to take over the network someday. Oh, all of them. Yeah. Especially with some of the shit that I've been pulled into the office for my kids for. Your son called the teacher a um, C word today. Oh, he did. <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, don't worry. My son called a kid a snowflake the other day. Nice. Uh, and it was... triggered the kid. Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fucking snowflake. Uh, well,. I had gotten the story from his, I mean, obviously, I don't live with his mom, you know, he's an adult, they all live elsewhere. Right, right. right. But her and I do kind of talk every once in a while, just because we like to keep things civil and... Try. Yeah, well, shit happens. We also share a voodoo account, you know, that's over 200 fucking movies, okay? We do talk. Cool. I'm not giving up on my fucking collection. Cool. My boondock, my fucking boondock sings movies. (laughs) There's a cult class if you have a cup of coffee with. Hey, I have both of them on that fucking voodoo account. Hey, like I said. So it's like, no, no, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to coexist, and there we go. And it works. As long as you're not cohabitating again. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that <laughs> hell, no. <laughs> That's a hell nope. <laughs> no, I, I, I will gladly like go under an overpass before that. I, I'm sorry. I I still love her dearly. I love my old family, but um, no. Nope. <laughs> that and you know, I kind of like living, and I can name at least six people that would kill my ass if I ever did that. Yep. 
I know a few. <laughs> you know, it's kind of just a thing. So, anyways. Yes, um, please. So, we talk, and uh, he's actually in college now. Okay. At the local one between here and the other town. Right. And um, uh, apparently a couple of kids were whining about the difficulty of the work that they're doing. Now, my son has changed majors. And he's in college, so I see where this is going. Now, my son is special needs. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, mentally, uh, from his last IEP, he's like five years younger mentally than he is physically. Define IEP, please. Um, It's essentially, I don't remember what the acronym actually stands for, but it's essentially your diagnosis for whatever is mentally or physically fucked up with you. Right, okay. You know, it's essentially how they judge you every year based on your disability, so they judge how much disability you get or, you know, your health insurance through the state and all that fun shit. Although now at his age, it's actually federal, not state, so yay toast. And he gets that for life. Okay. So, yeah, he never has to worry about health insurance. Cool. So, anyways. So, once uh, he apply for the Screen Actors Guild? <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Lately, he's fucking too old for that. I know. I know. It's like, seriously, unless you're molested by Charlie Sheen or Michael Jackson, you ain't getting in a movie. Or Kevin Spacey. Yeah, no shit. Maybe. Well, if he was a 14 year old girl, he could get beat on by R. Kelly. Eh. I could do a thing. <laughs> I mean, is there a shower afterwards that's not golden? So, you know, move on. There's that. <laughs> you know, I. I You know, I'd like to say I feel sorry for the girl, but, you know, a million bucks is a million bucks. And the boondock said it. It, 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 If she didn't want to get peed on, why didn't she get out of the way? (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) You know, unless you're actually physically tied down to the point you can't move or drugged or elsewise physically incapacitated, at some point in your head, you consented. There is also that. And also, uh, there is accounts that I mean, if you read some of the stories of the R. Kelly accounts, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he pretty much kept him in a dungeon. Okay. In his basement and stuff. And it was parental consent and brainwashing. Okay. So what do you think marriage is? I get it. I understand what you're saying. However, it is... It's, you got to go deeper into the accounts. I do not want to read them on the air, and I sure as shit don't want to read them ever again. Right. Because some of the shit that's in there is human trafficking. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's absolutely horrible. Yes. And um, yes, people get thrown into this shit against their will. And yes, they get mentally conditioned into doing shit. I'm sorry, folks. I'm into mental conditioning. Okay? Yeah, look at all the Michael Jackson cases. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, what the fuck's the story with this walnut? I look, don't know. If you look at it the right way, it looks like a beanbag. Mm, fair. But sorry guys, I'm looking at our Discord chat at the same time here. Uh, it's not live up in mine. That's weird. Yeah, updating your apps are a thing. Uh, well, my phone's old as fuck. Yes, this is a very true statement. Oh, nope, there it is. And my pug's retarded. Mm-hmm. <sighs> my pug's retarded. I think my pug's retarded. God damn it. So <laughs> Fuck, I can't. Anyway, we're talking so about we're my talking son about was roasting mentaling, a snowflake. Yeah, you're, you're roasting a snowflake. No, my son. Son. Which I'm like, wow, I'm a proud papa. Oh, so this kid was just, uh, my son recently switched from his old major, which was he wanted to design video games, but then he decided to switch to being a special ed teacher. Okay. You know, give back to the special needs because even he noticed when he was in school, the help was woefully lacking. Yes. Got it. So, you know, give back. Yeah. Right? Admirable. The blind teaching the blind. Yeah. Essentially. Mm-hmm. And I, she didn't tell me the exact circumstances of it, but the end result was person A, B, and C... We're just bitching about the teacher and the difficulty of the work. And instead of saying, oh, war is hell, mm-hmm. he said. I- I'm sorry. I didn't know your parents raised a snowflake. <sighs> a triple attack. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. But you know what? Pat that boy on the back. I don't care. Pat that boy on the back. 
Mm-hmm. It's very rare for a gentleman who is of that young in age and maturity. Well, he's 20 now. Yeah, and he's five years behind. Yeah. Okay. At the same time, I raised him. So, yeah, there is no self-control there. <laughs> he has a better filter than I do. I will okay. give him that. Okay. He did learn from more than a few of my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we did have him on the show once. That was a good time. Very Captain true Crinkle. statement, yes. yes. Captain Crinkles. Captain Crinkles. Yeah, go back into the archives for that one, folks. Yeah, definitely. Or maybe it's in our Patreon. We don't know yet. No, it's still in the archives. Okay, I haven't updated the Patreon in a minute. Yeah, we're getting full on our... Uh... Busy. Yeah. Busy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, apparently he got called into the dean's office for that, and that necessitated calling his mother in, who was on the other side of the building at her class. <laughs> okay. Irony. Yeah, well. She wants to further her education. Go for it. Yeah, I'm doing so on mine, but mine's logistical. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I'm furthering my education by torturing people. Yes, and learning Spanish. Look, <laughs> Spanish, French, and Italian. I was going to say it's torture in itself, right there. <laughs> well, it was actually kind of funny I'm because listening. I was cooking with uh, one gentleman. Who works, at, you know, we work at the same restaurant. So, you know, he only works 20 hours a week. Right. Monday through Thursday, five hour shifts. Okay. You know, uh, he works six to close. So six to 11 ish, you know, and this guy seems to have the opinion of himself that he is the absolute bomb diggity opinion on everything that has to do with this kitchen. Okay. So he is Despacito of the kitchen. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, no, I would dare say he's, well, yeah, Desposito, but at the same time, it's, he, he just pissed me off, and he's been pissing me off because he, lately he's been combative, because I have found things in that kitchen that are, in my opinion, created wrong, and I refuse to do things like that, especially when we have the capability of doing them right, and not taking any extra work, just the right processes, right? Mm-hmm. So I do that. And he's like, well, that's not the way we do things here. It's like, I don't fucking care. It's the way I'm going to fucking do things. Right. It's the way that... But my... yet you got yelled at for fucking presentation. No. Uh, the chopping of the salad? Put the avocados around? Oh, apples. Apples. Yeah, but I fixed that. And now my presentation actually works a hell of a lot better. Okay. Um, I... Instead of dealing with my cohorts, I pretty much just deal with the guy that I live with, who's Mm -hmm. essentially a kitchen manager, even though he's a moron, and the owner. And, you know, it's I pretty much just get permission to do what I do. So that way, if the other guys start to bitch, it's like, hey, bitch to the boss. Or step up. Pick one. Yep. And so, you know, he's just, all right, we get... We actually got nailed last Thursday. It was like maybe Define. nailed as forty five in... tickets and tw- or uh, forty five orders in twenty minutes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And this isn't McDonald's. Shit does not come out of this kitchen fast. It can if you haul ass, which I can do. Now However, it. he panics, and then he gets grouchy and bitchy, and he's like, "Okay, we need to work together." And I'm like, "Motherfucker, I am." I'm handling my half the kitchen. You handle yours. He's, that's him saying, I need you to help me with my work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you need help, you need to talk to me. You need to communicate with me. I'm used to working with my roommate, who him and I have worked together so long and so well, and him and I are so goddamn fast and experienced at doing this shit. We don't necessarily need to communicate that much, but we still do. Right, right. But that's more just double-checking with each other to make sure our shit's handled. Mm-hmm. Okay, and and I point to the board. It's like, this shit I'm used to doing by myself. You know, it's like 40 orders. Woo, move on. You just throw down food, and you keep churning out. You keep pumping out, and you don't stop. Even Even if it's just working on one ticket at a time, you keep going. All right, fine, your ticket times are long. Guess what? Your food is damn near perfect. They won't care. Mm. At the same time, they're probably also drunk. They won't care. It's Madison. They're more than likely drunk. They won't care. It's NCAA season. They are 
really probably drunk. They won't care. And he's like, and under his breath, I hear him go, in Spanish, he goes, well, why don't you communicate in Spanish? Or, you know, I'd love to see you communicate in Spanish. So I start calling all the tickets in Spanish. Mm-hmm. And then I switch to French. <laughs> and then I switch to Italian. Yep. And I just look at him. My Spanish is fine, asshole. Pick a language. <laughs> I can do it in sign language, too. Nice. You know, thanks to my adventures in Milwaukee. Yes, this is true. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I don't care what the fuck you communicate, and you can communicate by throwing shit at me. I don't care. Just be prepared for me to get even. And it has happened, even in studio. We've thrown empty beers at Michael. Yeah. Get another one. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I've been beer bitch a few times. But, and Excuse it, me. it did shock him a little bit. Because I, in his mind, he sees everyone in that kitchen as less than him, as unwilling to step up. Right. And it's like, uh, motherfucker, you only work 20 hours a week. You need to step up to the rest of us. And he's like, well, what are you going to do when you don't have time to plate like the like you want to do? It's like, then you plate the way I, I do. It doesn't matter if you have time or not. You do it. You make the time. You get faster. You cook. It's not hard. It's just difficult. And you rise up. If shit takes a few extra seconds, it takes a few extra seconds. You still do the job. I understand that. You move on. Just make sure it tastes good, it looks good, it's seasoned well, and send it. Absolutely. And yeah, at the end of the night, we plowed through everything else. I was the guy who was cut early. Granted, I didn't get out till like a half hour before close, which was sucked, but whatever. But fucking snowflakes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought winter was over. Yeah, no shit. That is the other thing I'm going to try and encourage people to do today. Vote. Vote. It is an election day. I already did. Same. Did it this morning. Same. Mm-hmm. And the sound of that stomping says... Kid. Yep. <laughs> Tiny human. Tiny human. Nice. What's up? Uh, Captain Wholesome showing Neo dodging tea bags. Yeah, no, that's chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should be tea bags. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know about you, but we. How long are we at? About forty-five. I have no idea right now. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm a little over forty-five. You want to go get you? You want to go eat that cake? Sure. All right. So, oh. folks, if you like what you hear, if you don't like what you hear, go fuck yourself. Click the heart icon, like, share, and subscribe. You know what? Hey, why don't you pop on, get send us a message. Maybe we'll even have you on the show. You know, we have that lovely Discord. We have multiple ways to communicate with us. Please, by all means, join us. If you got something to say, say it. Get it out. Get it well, done. Well, Captain Wholesome saying whoever's monitoring this Discord and deleting his shit, it's, I know it's not BHN. Fuck you, you fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. <laughs> Well, there's that one. <laughs> so visit us at redhoodsnetwork.com, oh, all over social media. You're welcome for me for building that. Yep. And you know what? Hydrate and press on, folks. Peace out. <laughs>